Hello and welcome to Crash and Learn FPV. My name is Axel, this is the Hubson X4 and today I'm gonna fix this. This here is the Hobson X4H107 and it is the first quad that I bought around two years ago now I think. It cost me like 50 bucks. It has a camera in the front, an SD card slot in the back and comes with a very video game like controller. And it's been working great up until a very hard crash I did where I crashed hard into a concrete floor and after that one of my motors is dead. So what to do then? Well, I ordered some replacement motors off of uh, Banggood. This one right here. But apparently I didn't check the specifications carefully enough and I ordered the wrong size. And that annoyed me a bit because I had been waiting a long time to get these. But then I thought, well, this just means that I have to build another micro quad. And I'm thinking a 3D printed frame maybe? Well, that's for another video. So here are the real replacement motors that I'm gonna be using. These are the Razer Star 8520 and as you can see it's a much better fit. I ordered a set of these off of Banggood for around 13 bucks. And what I'm gonna do today is remove all the four motors from the Hobson, solder on the Razer Star motors and hopefully we can kick some life back into this old bugger. So let's get to it! So I'm gonna start off with uh, removing the uh, bottom part of the canopy and it's just secured with two screws, one here and one on the other side. Okay, so this is the inside of the Hubson. This is the underside of the flight controller. Next, I'm gonna remove the landing pads that are underneath each of the motors. Now let's take this thing apart even more and prop and the motors just, I guess you just pull them right out like so, just pull them out and there you have it. So before I begin desoldering the old motors I'm gonna make a quick note on how they are connected. On the left side this motor has a blue and a red wire. And blue goes to minus and red goes to plus. On the right side this motor has a white and black lead and black goes to minus and white goes to plus. So make a note on this and uh, don't screw it up. And I got a new sharp soldering tip so I think it will do the job. And out goes the motor. And through the magic of film editing, the motors are now desoldered. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the front left motor. This has red and blue wire. So I'm gonna wire the blue lead to minus and the red one to plus. So I'm gonna twist the leads a bit and then thread them through the motor holder. There we go, and then I'm gonna try to make sure that the um, leads going out of the motor that they li line up with uh, or this little slit here so that the motor wires end up in line with this. It's a pretty tight fit but it should go, yeah, snaps down like so, just carefully thread them into the arms, alright, something like, something like that. And then strip and pre-tin. Alright, so I'm finished with soldering on the new motors. Just make sure to check the polarity on the solar pads and take your time and it's really tiny and tedious to solder this but yeah, eventually I did it and it's not the prettiest job, but hopefully it works. So it's time to plug in the battery. Okay, so I had to switch to my GoPro session because the battery in my DSLR ran out. 
but it's time to plug in the battery in the Hubsun and see what happens. No smoke, it's blinking. Alright, it's mount. Let's see. This is spinning. This is spinning. Alright, so they all seem to be working at least. Let's put on some propellers and see if they spin in the right direction. Well, we have liftoff. Seems to be working. Let's put on the uh, bottom plate as well, and this guy is ready to go again. Alright, so here it is. Uh, it looks really good with the black motors and the uh, black and white propellers. So let's take this for a spin.